Welcome to Esquire Group's latest video, Taxation of Foreign Partnerships and Form 8865. So, taxation of foreign partnerships. So, U.S. taxpayers, citizens, and residents, as well as U.S. entities, are required to report their share of income from foreign partnerships. Foreign partnerships, just like U.S. partnerships, are what are called flow-through entities, meaning that the partnership itself is not a taxable entity. So, the partnership does not pay tax, Rather, the income flows through to the partners and the partners pay tax on their respective share of partnership income. Now, in terms of a foreign partnership, a lot of times that means that even U.S. partners have to pay foreign income taxes on their income from the foreign partnership. And generally, a U.S. partner in a foreign partnership that paid foreign income taxes on partnership income will receive a tax credit in the United States for the foreign income taxes paid. That's pretty straightforward, right? Well, one of the things that people often miss is that there is a form that you need to file in order to report your ownership in a foreign partnership in certain situations. And that if you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow us on LinkedIn. Links are below. And that form is called 8865. And so I'm gonna run through the criteria of when you need to file form 8865. So if you're a US person and you're in control of a foreign partnership, and control means having ownership of more than 50% of the partnership, right? So if you're a US person and you own more than 50% of a foreign partnership, you need to file form 8865. Likewise, if you own 10% or more of a foreign partnership in which another US person has control. So it means, let's say for example, there's somebody else that owns more than 50% of a foreign partnership and that person's a US person and you own 10% of the foreign partnership, then you also need to file form 8865 because you own 10% or more of a foreign partnership while it was in control of a US person. Additionally, if you contribute property to a foreign partnership, that results in you owning at least 10% of the foreign partnership, then you need to file form 8865 or if the contribution exceeds 100,000 US dollars. You also need to report acquisition of a foreign partnership interest that results in you owning 10% or more of a foreign partnership or if you increase your holding in a foreign partnership by 10% or more and then also if you decrease your ownership in a foreign partnership by 10% or more. These are all the criteria where you would need to file Form 8865. And one of the things that's very important to remember in calculating ownership percentages is the attribution rules. So the US tax code has attribution rules. So for example, you are considered to own any partnership interest owned by your spouse. So let's say for example, you own 5% of a foreign partnership, your spouse owns 5% of a foreign partnership, you're each considered to own 10% of the foreign partnership, and that would likely trigger 8865 filing requirements. Now there can also be attribution between parents and children, between individuals and business entities that they're owners in or trusts that they're beneficiaries in. Figuring out the attribution is quite complex and I definitely recommend getting an international tax advisor to assist in figuring out attribution of partnership interest between individuals and entities. Now, like with all US international information returns, Failing to file Form 8865 comes with harsh penalties, results in an unlimited statute of limitations. So if you don't file Form 8865, the statute of limitations on your tax return stays open forever. That means the IRS could come back 10 years from now and audit anything on your tax return simply because you failed to file Form 8865. And that's in addition to any penalties that they may impose. Here at Esquire Group, we've been helping people comply with reporting entities, including foreign partnerships for almost two decades. So if you have any questions about the taxation of foreign partnership income or how to report your foreign partnership, if you haven't been in compliance, we can help. Just give us a call or email us at info at esquiregroup.com or visit us on the web at www.esquiregroup.com. Thank you.